because I can't upload these videos from home where I am in the middle of the forest. I gotta go somewhere else to do it. So sometimes it takes me a while. It's a tight fight out here sometimes when you're living in a 40 year old camper in the middle of the forest in Oregon with no running water, no electricity and no cell service. It's challenging. So I've been living in this 40 year old camper for the past two years. And I traveled over 10,000 miles. States and visited nine national parks. Hiked hundreds and hundreds of miles. thousands of vertical feet in the mountains of Colorado. And I thought that since I've been at this for two years that I would maybe have two lessons that I could share with you. But it's really just one, one big lesson What I've learned is that the world can and will and will take things from you, things that you love, things that you've worked hard for. build your dream home and it can get burnt up in a fire. You can buy your dream car. Someone can steal it. You can find your dream career. And you can lose that job. You can build relationships with people. You can have all of those things and the world will take them from you eventually except for one thing. And that's your story. Nobody can take that from you.
That's the only thing that I truly own is my story. And you know, I used to be ashamed of it because it involves heroin and jail time and dropping out of college, failing relationships that I thought would last forever. And at the end, living in this 40-year-old camper and driving that thing basically all the way across the entire country. After two years of living in this camper with no electricity and no running water for the majority of it, no cell service for the past year, I don't need any of those things to own my story and to tell it and to keep creating it every single day coming to places like this seeing the beauty of the earth and I'm sitting here in this beautiful place And it feels like a dream. It feels like I'm telling you about someone else's story. Greetings, family. It's another glorious day out here in the Pacific Northwest. Just taking a little walk and soaking up a bit of the sun. And uh, we're back in the saddle again with some more maintenance slash repair issues to tackle today. Having some issues with my generator, so we're gonna see if we can't fix that. And uh, you know, I also wanted to say, uh, I wanted to express my gratitude for those of you that have been following along and especially leaving comments. It makes my day when I read those and get to respond with strangers who have been checking out my adventure that I got going. It means a lot to me, and I thank you very much. Bonus content. You know what, I've been wearing these running tights when I run, and I used to be embarrassed, and I was like, these people are gonna think I'm crazy. Look at this man out here with these leggings on. you know what they're comfortable family get you a set of leggings share your story people probably want to hear it people might even need to hear it and if you're wearing pajamas or leggings or no clothes at all I'll listen to it I'll listen to it for sure ran all the way down that hill tried to run all the way back up I didn't make it all the way back up, not running. Sometimes things take a bit longer than we think that they will. Don't give up. Just keep going. Last thing I'll say. This is all bonus content, you know? Now I've got to sit up here and find a hotel or a motel or Airbnb or something. Someplace with some hot running water and a cell signal or a Wi-Fi internet connection because I can't upload these videos from home where I am in the middle of the forest I gotta go somewhere else to do it so sometimes it takes me a while and I appreciate your patience because it's a tight fight out here sometimes when you're living in a 40 year old camper in the middle of the forest in Oregon with no running water no electricity and no cell service It's challenging. But I'm glad I did it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I really wouldn't. This is freedom. And this is truth. It's not glamorous. Thank you for riding along with me.